What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of MBI Motorsports. In this episode, like you saw in the thumbnail, we're gonna be getting the early Bronco in the booth for paint today. So stay tuned and we'll see you guys in the rest of the video. What's up guys? It's bright, so <laughs> bright. Back at the shop, obviously you saw, we're gonna be getting this thing painted today. About time. Finally. <laughs> Dude, what have we been doing for the last like month? That's been longer than that. <laughs> Since they've seen this thing first get put together and now. I know. So, well, we're gonna get this thing slapped in the booth. It's all sanded down with 400. We're gonna get some color on this bad boy and get at it. Hopefully we don't mess it up too bad. You nervous? My spraying? You should be nervous. <laughs> but I'm a little nervous. So well never sprayed this type of paint before. It's a new paint from a new supplier. Um, but the booth has heat now. Booth does have heat. And that's a good thing. So what are we gonna put it at? We're we gonna set it at about 75, 78, something like that. 75. Which it's warm today. 78 is pretty warm. I mean but the good thing is we got this thing that we can actually crank this thing all the way and bake it. 120 degrees, 125. I think it was. It says it's 55 right now. It's gonna be 64 today, so it won't be a big big deal to crank it to 75. Yeah, it'll the heater will probably warm. barely run. It's gonna be warm in there. Yeah, I'm gonna be in a little sauna today, so <laughs> it right. gets even hotter when you're spraying in there. You're gonna be in Africa. <laughs> Super hot, like Africa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna get a time lapse going. Keep you guys in the loop, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so you saw on the time lapse, got some of the rest of the seam sealer put on that we missed the first time. How's it going? Got that camera again. <laughs> so, I'm going to get this mixed up real quick. Um, these actually came, we have two gallons of this, we're going to mix it all together, make sure it's exactly the same color, and we're not going to have any issues down the road. So what's the plan? We're going to pump the caps, mix them up, pour them in, mix it up, and pour, pour them back, back in. Yep, yep. That weather completely perfect. I learned this lesson with my Bronco. Don't ever trust anybody mixing that freaking gallon for you unless they're sitting right there. So. Same thing with houses though. Yeah. yeah. Same thing with houses. I mean, that's why you, if you're gonna paint a lot of stuff, you don't get a bunch of singles. You get a full five gallon jug. Yep. So, that's what we're doing right now. I mean, it's super loud in here, but I'll show you. Steam sealer's all done time-lapse cameras in there ready so anyways guys we get get in the booth get this thing sprayed I'm sure Chris will walk around a little bit with the camera and keep you guys updated What's up guys? Welcome back to day, I don't even know what day it is, of the painting project on the early Bronco. So, let me get this paint booth turned on real quick. Show you guys what's going on here. Whoop. Over here. So, the last video you guys saw we were painting the tub. So I told Chris I didn't want to leave. I don't want to take this out until it was completely finished with bed liner, all that good stuff. So you can see, bed liner came out nice. Here's the color of the Bronco right here. 
so it came out really nice um, one mistake that we made was there was black primer under this um, probably should have went with the gray for the coverage normally I can get this knocked out in four four uh, 24 ounce bottles four quarts sorry because you got to add the hardener but um, yeah the coverage was a little rough on this so anyways this is pretty much done I'm gonna hit it with one more coat when we're done finishing or when we're finished painting the doors the tailgate hood stuff like that windshield frame so today we're gonna get this taken out um, hope I can get in here get this paint booth cleaned out before bringing the you know the rest of the panels in here so that's what we're gonna do today make sure you guys watch the video I'll put the link up in the description up above it should be popping down right about now um, on how the Raptor liner works as far as the tenable Raptor liner we have a full video on that so make sure you go up and watch that so stay tuned guys when we get this tub taken out of here and brought there bring these panels back in so we will see you soon the very same hands that formed all right guys that's a wrap for today's video sorry i wasn't able to get the final footage of the clear coat and all that good stuff on the doors and the hood and the grill but this is only the uh the first video of the painting process on the early bronco so stay tuned we hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys made it this far in the video make sure you hit the subscribe and like button and comment below if you guys have any questions and we will see you guys on the next video